boys and girls, and welcome to Brain Bank. My name is Melanie, and I'll be your teacher for today. Now, today, we're going to read an exciting book called Boats. Boats. We're going to talk all about boats and the many different kinds of boats there are. And Boats was written by Ian Douglas. He is the author of the book Boats. Now, if we look at these pictures, we see that there are, in fact, many different kinds of boats. Up here, we have one kind of boat. This kind of boat is used for vacationing, taking long trips. Does anyone know what we call that kind of boat? Yes, we call that maybe a cruise ship. Cruise ship. And those are for vacations that we take on a boat. And what about here? This isn't a boat that I would take a long vacation on. It looks more like just a fun activity boat to go fishing. That's right. This is a fishing boat. A fishing boat. Very good. Oh, cross my T. And lastly, what about over here? This is a type of sailboat. Yes, these we call yachts. We can call these yachts. Yachts are very luxurious boats that can be used for sailing or cruising. But these look like they might even be racing. Okay, so as you can see, there are many types of boats. So here, once again, boats. This book is called Boats. So here we have some smaller, these are sailboats. And how do sailboats go in the water? Do they have an engine? Well, sometimes they do, but in this case, once they get out into the water, the sail catches the wind. The wind blows at the sail, and therefore, the boat is pushed along the water. So these are sailboats, and these boys look like they're going to go out and have a good time on their sailboats. Ah, some other types of boats. People use boats to have fun. Yes, people use boats to have fun. And what kind of boats do we see here? These boats are very small and very simple boats. And it looks like there is no engine or motor. It looks like they're, the people are paddling the boats themselves. What do we call these that they are using? Yes, we can call those paddles. Paddles. Or we could call them oars. Oars. They have two names. Both are okay. Paddles or oars. Okay, so what kind of boat is this? Yes, this is a canoe. Can you say canoe? Canoe. Very good. And this one is called an outrigger. Can you say outrigger? Excellent. We might also call this a kayak. K A Y A. K, and again, it just has two names, kind of like paddles and oars, okay? Ah, here are some more fun boats that people use to have fun. We have a sailboat, a sailboat, and we have a jet boat, a jet boat. A jet boat goes very, very fast, whereas a sailboat goes kind of slow. Jet boats go very fast. These people have raincoats on and they have life jackets on. They know they are going to get very wet on the jet boat, but very fun. Okay, and as we mentioned before, people use boats for fishing. Let's read that all together, shall we? People use boats for fishing. And so here, we see two boys, and they are holding their fish, so they must have just gone fishing. And they are fishing in a canoe. Canoe. 
Excellent. Ah, uh, here are some more types of fishing boats. There are many different kinds. This one is much bigger and much more modern. And this one looks a little bit older. Not as new, not as, the, the equipment is maybe not as new or updated as this one. So this one we call, oh, this one we call a fishing trawler. It's a little bit tricky. Can you help me out? Fishing trawler. So with this boat, the big nets go down into the ocean and the boat goes slowly along and these nets just catch many fish and many different kinds of sea life in the water. And this one, we just call a fishing boat. It's very simple and it's not as fancy as this one up here. And there are some nets. I think I might see some nets in there, but again, not so big, okay? Ah, and these are some other kinds of boats. People use boats for getting around. People use boats for getting around, good. And so we also need boats to help us transport from one place to another. Sometimes we need boats every day, depending on where we live, to get from one side to another side or across a river or across, this is actually, maybe you recognize it, this is Venice in Italy. It's a very, very famous place. And there are waterways all throughout Venice. This city has no roads, it has no cars. It only has water. So if you wanna to go to someone's house, if you want to get around and go out to eat, go shopping, you should take a boat. Uh, and many tourists also take these kinds of boats for sightseeing. But we call these boats, does anyone know? I think I heard someone say it, a gondola. Can you say gondola? Gondola, very good. And what about this one? Ah, this is a ferry, a ferry. Now, this ferry looks very big. It looks like it's carrying people and also cars, maybe across a river or across a channel of water. So ferries and gondolas, very important. Oh, and here are some more types of boats. So we have a water bus, a water bus, kind of like a bus that we use every day in the city, except this one's in the water, and a ferry. And once again, they're showing the ferry sometimes can take cars over water as well. These people are still sitting in their car and they're going across the water. Very good. Oh, this is not a good picture. People use boats for rescue, for rescue. Let's read it all together. People use boats for rescue. Now in this picture, we see it looks like maybe an oil tanker and it looks like it had an accident, maybe a fire, maybe it's leaking into the water. So this boat came to help. So we have the oil tanker. The oil tanker had the fire, had the accident. And then down here we have the rescue boat, which is a firefighting boat, a firefighting boat. You can see all the smoke and a little bit of the fire still here. There was a fire on this boat. So the firefighting boat had to come and help. Very good boat, very important boat. And here are some other common rescue boats that we might have seen before. We have the Coast Guard boat, Coast Guard boat. And this boat will look for maybe missing people or missing boats, missing ships. And a surf rescue boat. Maybe if somebody is going surfing and they get lost, or something happens, they need the surf rescue boat to come and rescue them. Very good. Ah, now this looks more fun. People use boats for racing. Can we read that all together? People use boats for racing, for having a race, but not running, in a boat. They have races in their boats. So these we call dragon boats. Dragon boats, these I believe are very famous or popular in China, and they have races 
on their dragon boats. Very, very fun. And these are some other fun racing boats. We have power boats. These go very, very fast. And I mentioned earlier this one, yachts. Yachts. There are also very famous yacht races around the world. Ah, and finally, what do these look like? They look like boats, but they kind of look like houses, right? Ah, people even use boats for homes. Let's read it all together, shall we? People even use boats for homes. These are where these people live. So, houseboat, houseboat. This one looks a little bit bigger, a little more modern. This one looks like it has a little less shelter, but still, they're both homes. They're very nice homes that people live in. So I hope you enjoyed today's story, and I hope you learned a lot about boats. So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.